Built at a cost that far exceeds $50 million, the Marion Jones Sporting Complex is on record as arguably the biggest construction hustle in Belize. Under the previous administration, the multi-purpose facility was billed as the premier venue for professional sporting events in the country, despite the inordinate length of time it took for the building to be completed. Named after former world champion track and field athlete Marion Jones, the massive five-story concrete structure is just a facade. Beyond what is visible on the outside, the building is incomplete and areas that were once finished are now in a state of disrepair. We were shocked when we, when we came here and, and started to assume the responsibilities because we all were around when we saw the soft launch in 2015, or I think it was 2016. And so in some of the public areas, that, that's very minimal when you, when you think about the expanse of the building. Um, the the Marian Jones seemed to be an adequate facility. But when we start to peel back the onion, when we start to walk in the areas that the, public's, that the public won't ordinarily get to see, um, we realize this is a totally different story. Under former sports director Richel Dominguez, the Marion Jones Sporting Complex was finally opened to the public in 2016. One year later, the football field was illuminated during a formal ceremony hosted by then Minister of Sports, Patrick Faber. Its upkeep has been the biggest challenge ever since. The field really needs a lot of work to be done. I know that there was an investment done on the field, I think just about a year or two years ago, where Barry's they put in a lot of sprinklers on, on the pitch. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this, the field have just about 50, 52 or 54 sprinklers on it. So there's a good um, sprinkling system to upkeep the pitch. But um, a, a lot have went wrong with the pitch itself because the pitch sits on a bed of rocks. And that have been from the initial time when it, when it was constructed. That's just one of many faults that can be found in and around the compound. On the fifth floor, which houses the media and VIP boxes, the rooms are incomplete and were never used. There is no lighting, no proper seating, no air conditioning, and buckets that were used in construction over five years ago remain where they were left. For the price tag that this building was built for, and what we're seeing, do you believe that there's value for money here? I, personal opinion, and this is an, an athlete for over 28 years, I don't believe so. Um, we all chronicled the story of the Marion Jones from when it was began to when it finished, and I think there were different contractors, there were different um, phases to the project, and it seems that over the years a lot has fallen through the cracks. Um, and we just need to tell the story so that people understand what our job is and what we're faced and what we're up against. Since taking over the leadership of the National Sports Council in late November of last year, Oscar Arnold and his team have been doing similar evaluations at all sporting facilities owned and managed by the NSC across the country. What they have found is years of patent neglect. All our facilities, countrywide, including Marion Jones, was in a terrible mess. Um, moreover, you couldn't, even, you couldn't even walk from here over to the other pitch or, or to the running truck because the grass was so high. Um, so we really put some measures in place, get some more equipment, the, the few equipment we do have um, up and running so that we could have um, start maintaining the, pit, um, the field as much as possible. This what you're seeing right now is, is, is far better than what we have seen when we came here, we came here about just about the 20th of November, and it was in a really, really terrible, terrible mess. Such a chaotic state that repairing the Marion Jones will require a lot more from the already cash-strapped public purse. What I find sort of difficult to reconcile with mentally is the fact that so much money was spent on the building of the fence, and when you look at the structure itself, it seems rather incomplete. Is it now a matter for taxpayers' money to be used once again to see how this can be repaired? At the end of the day, it will be taxpayers' money. We will be looking at how we could maybe source some grant funding. But taxpayers' money already went into this project. Um, and like you rightly said, um, there's, an, uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of thousand dollars on the football pitch. It's still not FIBA certified. Uh, the lighting around the Marion Jones as well. But for this main building itself, um, at least in the initial stages, some taxpayers' money will have to be spent. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.